Well, hello everyone and welcome. Hope you're all well. Uh, today, today we're going to be um, moving on and we're going to start a little series um, on a protocol um, called ESP Now. All right. We know that Espressive, they make two, um, two chips, the ESP32 and the ESP8266. And they're both on um, a high speed architecture of 32 bits. All right. And we know that they have uh, built in Bluetooth and built in Wi Fi. All right, and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, work on 2.4 gigahertz, uh, like a radio transceiver module. Um, and Expressive have made their own protocol. It's called ESP Now, right? And it works on the 2.5 gigahertz uh, transceiver, right? And it's so it's separate. From Wi-Fi and um, and Bluetooth, um, and it works on all uh, ESP type microcontrollers. Now it allows simple packet communications, right, um, of only two hundred and fifty bytes or fewer. So it's not very good for um, audio. Or video all right and it works very similar very similar to wireless keyboard um mice and yeah works on a very similar principle to that yeah it only up to 250 bytes and um as you know unidirectional and bi-directional all right, so we can have single duplex or full duplex, and most data types are supported. All right, the data can be encrypted or unencrypted, and no external source of Wi Fi or router are required. All right, depends on your configuration, depends on your configuration, which we're going to go through in a, in a moment. All right, um, the range can. Depend, depends on the environment. Um, under good conditions, you can get up to 400 meters, right, with USP now. All right. And you can, uh, to get longer range, you can put on your ESP32 or 8266, whatever you're using. You can put antennas. All right. And. Uh, you can communicate through medium sized homes. So what you can do, you can set up your home network on ESP 32s without any problem. All right. Now there's different uh, modes. You can mix and match. Uh, you can mix and match ESP 32s and 8266s. But a device participating in the ESP, ESP now network uh, can be operated in two modes, right? The initiator. This device initi initiates the transmission. It will require a MAC address, that's Media Access Control address. And shortly I will be showing you how you can get that MAC address for your ESP32. All, all components on a network have an original media access control address. They are original to the board, right? So that's the initiator. Then we've got the responder, and this device receives the transmissions, all right? In unidirectional half duplex mode, uh, the transmitting device is um, initiator, and the receiving device is the responder. So we've got the initiator and the responder the sender and the receiver uh, and then we've got two-way communication all right um, and that's full duplex and both have to be an, an initiator and a responder all right we've got different communication types all right 
The simplest is one-way communication, right? Um, and we have um, one initiator and one responder, right? Then we have, um, you can have one initiator and several responders, all right? That is a good setup if you want to have one initiator and control the rest of the um, ESP32s as responders around around your house right then we got um multi multiple initiators and one responder so you can have the initiators for instance you can have a weather station on one esp32 you can have door control you can have different things and you can do it from one responder so you get all the initiators going to the responder from that responder, you can have full duplex communication and control them initiators, right? So yes, two-way communication we can have. We can have two-way communication. Um, full duplex, we'll call it full duplex. You can have it bi-directional, full duplex, all right? Um, and you can have two-way network. So everything, Everything is uh, c communicating with each other. They're both um, a sender and a receiver, an initiator and a responder. All right. Okay. Now, one thing that's important, I've just gone through that very quickly. What I will be doing in later experiments, we'll be going through each one of those setups. Right. We'll be going through each one, one at a time. All right, I don't want to go into it too deep at the moment, but when we start going through, we'll go into it deeper. So one thing we have to do on um, for the communication to work is we need to get the MAC addresses right, from our ESP32s or 8266s, excuse me, if that's what you're using. And it's a simple little code. It's a simple little code. Um, let's go to here. All right. What? Well, let me just make sure I'm on the uh, the correct the correct window. Yeah. Okay. So let's code this up. Let's code this up. So we're at our. Uh, Arduino IDE integrated development environment file new sketch if you want a new sketch all right and then make sure you're connected to your board I'm on my W Rover module on COM10 all right so it's a pretty simple code um so let's just do it do this one so we go hashtag include. All right, space, quotes, Wi Fi, bumpy text, dot H. All right, come outside the quotes. Then we need to go to avoid setup. Things that we want to happen only once. All right. First thing we need to do is start up our serial. So it's serial.begin. All right, and it's brackets on. And I've got my um, serial monitor set up at 115200. That's whatever speed you have got your serial monitor set up. And I recommend 115200. Semicolon, enter. Now, remember a while ago we did a video, a video that you can have your Wi Fi in different modes. All right, we need to set up the Wi Fi mode. So it's Wi Fi dot mode brackets on and it's Wi Fi all capitals underscore mode underscore and we want it set at station mode. So it's S E A. 
All right, come outside the bracket, semicolon, enter. Then we need to uh, print the line, all right? So it's serial dot print ln, a brackets on, all right? Got that so far, and then it's Wi-Fi, bumpy text, dot, and it's Mac, a media access control, press, brackets on, brackets off, come outside the brackets, come outside the brackets, semicolon. All right, and then come outside the setup. We do not need anything in the avoid loop. So just five lines of code. Just five lines of code. I'm making sure I've got no typos. And let's upload it. All right. I'm uploading this to my uh, W Rover module. Wait for it for a minute. Just a reminder, if you haven't got your modules, you haven't got your boards, got a couple of links down below where you can get all the equipment that you need for all of the videos that we've done. All right. So, compiling the sketch. Compiling. Right, let's upload. All little uh, sketch. I didn't expect any uh, any problems. So we're uploading. Got a little bit of a little bit of a cold today, so uh, it won't uh, won't get too bad. All right. So we're uploading, and we've uploaded. Okay. To start our serial monitor, I like to use this button up here. So let's start our serial monitor. And then what we have to do, our left hand button on our ESP32, the reset button, just press it. And there you go. Here is my media access control MAC address. But it's not written correctly for future sketches. Right? What we have to do, let me just open this. Here you can see I've got all four of my ESP32 boards with their MAC address. All right. Now, what we have to do, as you can see on here, it's 70 colons, B8 colons. What we have to do, we have to put a 0x in front, then the first number, then it's a comma. All right. And then it's 0xb8. So I've got my b8, comma, 0xf6, 0x98, and 0x30, 0xf0. And I'll put that on COM10. That's how I've saved all of my MAC addresses. I've done all four of mine. All right. Now, for these future experiments, projects, you are going to need more than one ESP32. You can get some good deals at the moment on ESP32s. They're going for three um, dev kits, dev modules. Uh, I think you can get for about $20 on Amazon. Um, and my links below, you can get sets at a good reasonable price as well. All right. So that's how we get our mac address all right let me just uh go back see where i am <laughs> have to find out where i am so uh that's the mac address sketch you want to save that all right you want to save that and just uh keep that handy all right and then uh then you can uh save it for future projects now all the codes we're going to be writing are long codes save them because we're going to be using them throughout the different little experiments and we could just copy and paste right 
So that was just a quick one, just to really introduce you to ESP now. I haven't gone into it too deeply. Um, well, as we go through each individual experiment, we're going to th we're going to things more. Not too deep because we're not here to be engineers. All right. But we'll go into them in more detail. That's the word I'm looking for. Detail. Well, anyway, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Thanks for watching. OK. And please don't forget, give us a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe for future videos. All right. And I'll see you in our first uh, ESP Now um, coding uh, or sketch. And that's going to be on sending. That's going to be on one-way communication. All right. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.